So Casey, I love poem to Birmingham. Yes. How did you go about writing that? Um, I think I've written a lot about Birmingham in the past. So it was about, first of all, picking out what haven't I mentioned yet and, and what do I need to maybe mention again. And then it was just trying to find some iconic things that would connect people to what's happening in the city. Um, yeah, like Black Sabbath, like the, the New Look Chamberlain Square, all that kind of stuff that I think we're very proud of, whether historically or present day. But we've also got some, some dark parts of Birmingham's mm -hmm. history, haven't we? And I think you were right to, to pull some of that out as well. So yeah. how, did you, how did you get the, uh, the inspiration, the balance in the poem? I think I always like to think, if, if I see something and it's positive, 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 I always think, mm, is that true? You know, is anything always that good? Um, so, you know, the reference to the Rivers of Blood speech was about me saying, actually, there are things that happen in Birmingham that we're not proud of. There are things that happen, I would imagine, every day in Birmingham that we wouldn't be proud of. But it's about facing those things and overcoming them or doing something about them rather than going, oh, just put them in the cupboard, then we can carry on doing the other stuff. So, yeah. Well, it's a fantastic poem. It is uh, truly a love uh, poem to, to the city of, of Birmingham. And I hope that uh, your words will inspire the people of Birmingham to be a bit more bold, uh, a bit more uh, outspoken, and uh, speak with a little bit of swagger about yeah. our city in the future, because we're a fantastic place, and we, we deserve are. it. Thank, Thank you. you.